Hi everyone, welcome to part 3 of free scripts to make your workflows a lot faster for 3 Studio Max. In this video, we will be going over scripts uh, related to uh, changing the resolutions of cameras, uh, copy pasting materials, uh, bringing in reference images from outside 3D Studio Max into the software, um, collecting assets to compile and archive your projects, and to solve an issue with the X form. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. So the first script we are looking at is called camera resolution mod. What this will help you do is basically if you have set up your cameras in your scene and they are at different re output resolutions. So to set that in camera, what you can do is basically, so if I go to my camera O2, let's select the camera, I'll go in there and then you can apply the camera resolution mod on as a modifier. So camera resolution mod. So once you've applied that, you'll see this window pop up. So I'm getting an extra option for saved preset because um, there are two versions for this script. One is a light version. The other one is a paid version. With the paid version, you can save your own presets, but you can also use a light version, which doesn't come with a preset, but it works just as normal as this one. So if I have to render this image um, at a portrait format, I can just select the uh, portrait aspect ratio. And if I go to my other camera, so I can also apply a camera resolution mod on this camera, and then I can select a different uh, resolution for this one. So if I switch between the two, you'll see Whenever you select that camera, the resolution is changed according to the selected camera. Another small thing that you can do um, in this script is you can also lock the transform for the camera. So once that's checked, the camera will be locked in its place and, and you can't modify the camera. And the other thing that you can do if you want to switch between um, portrait and landscape uh, you can also swap the width and the height so if I click that so basically it's just changing those values from width to height so the next script that we're looking at it's a really small script which will help you copy your UBWs and map from one object to the other rather than you having to pick the material and then opening the material editor and then applying the material. What you can do is basically if you want to apply this material and mapping to this object, just select the object, click copy material and mapping, click on the other object and hit apply. So I can select as many objects as I want. Um, even if I select multiple objects, I can just do hit apply mapping and it just works perfectly. With the free version, you can copy materials from within the file and apply it to an object in that file. But if you get the pro version, what you can do is actually copy material from one file and paste it into another file. So to do that, I can copy this material. So all I have to do is hold down shift click copy go back to the other file come here and hit apply and it's just as easy as that the next script that we're looking at uh, will basically help you bring in reference material into Studio max either an elevation plan section a landscape plan so the easiest way to use this script is basically if you have any um, image file like a JPEG, PNG, bitmap, doesn't matter. Uh, you can just copy that image, go into 3 Studio Max, run the script. In the free version, you have to do this every time. So I'll just have to press 2. And then what I can do is just paste ref image. So the good thing about this is basically, as you can see, it brought in the image on its um, original ratio. So 
so it created a plane as um so it created the plane which matches the um, image size and now you have that in 3 Studio Max it's really easy to use you can even change the um, alignment of the plane so like if it's an elevation so you can change that to front left right to whatever you think is best for you really small script but really helpful and another thing that you can do so basically like I've got that in a PDF so I can use the so I can use a snipping tool so I'll just take a snip I don't even have to copy it because when you're using snipping tool it copies the image whenever it's taken a screenshot off so go back into max I'll delete this one and I'll just do paste reference image and that's it so the next script we are looking at is called collect assets which works just like as it would if you are archiving a project um, file uh, but this will give you a lot more options as compared to the 3 Studio Max inbuilt archiving system so if I run the plugin so collect assets too it will check all the images and any uh, linked files to the main max file so what you can do is basically I can hit copy max file I can also do only for selected objects and I can also do re and relink to the selected directory so it will basically collect everything from this file any maps uh, proxies HDRIs or anything being used uh, in this file and it will put into a specific folder so I can set the path here so I'll hit select so I've got my reference folder there I'll hit click and then either I can do just collect files or I can actually make an archive so I'll do collect files first so once it's done it will give you this window so it copied all the files there weren't any errors in it so if I go to my reference folder there so you can see all the maps are laid out here and you can also see like the max file was also copied into this folder and the other option is either you can click archive and it will give you a zip file of uh, which will contain the max file and all the maps so the next script we're looking at uh, will basically help you identify if there are any objects in your scene which uh, don't have their scale set properly like either uh, you have to do the reset x form on them or not so what you can do is basically so if you run the script it will give you this window you can hit search and it will basically check the whole scene and will tell you if any of those objects either have corrupted normals or if their uh, gizmos aren't placed properly so you can basically just do reset x form so once that is done uh, you will see the status will have changed so any objects which were either mirrored or their scales were um, changed uh, while modeling them or moving them around they all um, are reset now and uh, it doesn't put a reset form modifier on the edit poly it basically collapses the whole thing and thus just give you either an edit poly or you can select your uh, end product either be a mesh or poly whatever you prefer so the last script we're looking at is uh, something uh, that I've just recently found and it just helped me uh, in a very specific uh, scenario and it helped me uh, on a project that I was just recently working on uh, basically I had to create a reference line in 3 studio max and I didn't want to use the custom uh, grid options which uh, a lot of scripts give you uh, the only unique thing about this script was um, that you can use it to create vertical and horizontal guides as you do inside Photoshop so if I have my camera selected my composition done I can basically click horizontal and you can see it will start creating these lines so I can place them wherever I want which again sometimes either composing an image or if you wanna reference something if you have a background um, 
environment background in the back and you want to check uh, if it aligns properly with your composition or not i felt like this was just a small script which uh, works really well so i can either do a cross as well and um once you click in the other viewport like that layout gets changed to the other one you can change the color of what's displayed from down there and if you want uh, you can also create your own uh, the default uh, layouts that you usually use so this was the uh, end of today's videos uh, i hope you guys are enjoying this series where i'm showcasing all the free scripts to uh, help you uh, make your workflows a lot faster um there are still a lot of scripts um that i've got down in in my list i will be showcasing them later on in uh, more videos uh so please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next one